Hi, I'm Leonard Villarreal. We all work hard for our money, right? So hard, in fact, that throwing our money in the street seems unimaginable. Yet many of us do just that every day, not with coin or with currency, but with water leaks. And that's just the same as throwing money down the drain, the storm drain. Undetected water leaks can quietly and steadily run up your water bill. It's a waste of precious resources and a waste of your precious income. In this edition of Water Solutions, a quick and simple lesson on how to read your water meter so you can keep tabs on just how much you're using. And most importantly for a homeowner is that it also will show you what's known as a water movement indicator dial or a leak dial. The first obvious step, locate the water meter. You'll find it on your property near the street in a concrete box with a concrete or metal lid. In the lid, a small slot to facilitate opening. A screwdriver will work well in removing the cover. A caution, however. Once we open up the meter box, carefully again, use your screwdriver or stick to, again, clear any spider webs or debris out of the way. So you lift the lid and wipe off any dirt or debris on the face of the meter and now you can see the complete meter face. Let's look at the larger red hand first. It sweeps around like a clock and it measures how much water you're paying for. As the hand moves, usage is tracked by rolling discs with numbers, much like the odometer on your car. See the blue asterisk in the upper left hand corner of your screen? That's the leak indicator. The indicator can have a slightly different look depending on the water meter installed. It could also be a red or blue triangle or a silver asterisk in the center of the dial. Whatever the shape or color, the working principle is the same. So what you're looking for when you open the meter box is if you have all the water turned off inside the house and outside the house and you know the um, ice maker's not running and there's no water going on at any place in the yard or home, if that's moving, you have a potential leak. In this case, the blue indicator is still. No leaks are detected. But now let's turn on a little water. Look at what happens. The meter starts to spin. The indicator moves slow for a trickle faster as more water flows. Because it's mechanical, the leak indicator has its limits. A drip, drip, drip like this will not be detected. But if it's a constant stream of water where you don't see any break between the water droplets on a faucet drip, uh, it will show that. Whether it's a slow, steady drip or a stream, remember it's your water. It's driving up your bill. As it leaves the meter, the water becomes your responsibility. Otai Water District is responsible for the water meter and all the water uh, from the water meter into the street where the main line is located. The homeowner is responsible for the water connection once it leaves the water meter and all water use subsequently after that. So it, it's the house water, it's the yard water. Um, that's the homeowner's responsibility. Whenever you have pipes, you can have a leak. Irrigation systems can be the culprit. Another huge water waster can be found in your bathroom. A running toilet can easily double your bill. A $10 or $15 part can save thousands of gallons of water and save you hundreds of dollars. Coming up in another edition of Water Solutions, an easy way to detect a leak in your toilet. For the Otai Water District, I'm Leonard Villarreal.